What's going on, boys and girls? Back at it again with another episode of Sip with Samurai Piggy for you. But before we begin, please do not forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends. Let them know what we're doing. Let them know what we're drinking. And today, we are drinking one from some very good friends, the Loca. Or, uh, shortened for the low-calorie beer, this one comes from our friends over at the Tank Brewing. And honestly, I'm a little disappointed. I thought I have done videos on them in the past, but I haven't. Sorry guys. So we're going to do that today. We're going to find out a little bit about the brewery and then we'll get right into the beer. So the tank brewing, I have done blogs and stuff about them in the past, but apparently I haven't done a video yet. So sorry guys. So the tank brewing, they, they opened their door. Well, they were, they began production in April, 2016, but they haven't, they didn't fully open their doors till April, 2017. There are some very good friends. They're over in the Doral area and I practically know everybody there. They are amazing people. They put out amazing beers. They are actually one of the only places in and around Miami that I know that has a QAQC lab, which is freaking amazing. And they also have their own canning line. They're again, they're putting out some amazing beers headed by one of my very good friends, Mo. And prior to that, it was Matt who's doing La Tropical now that's opening up over in Wynwood. And yeah, they are just a humongous brewery that was actually, it was a really cool starting story. So Carlos Padron, the owner who also owns the import export family trader cigars company. He one day went out to lunch and he was, it was actually at the local in Coral Gables. A lot of you guys may know that place. And he was there and he actually just like, you know, wanted a beer with his lunch. Cause I mean, who doesn't? So he talked to the waitress and he had, he asked her if any, if there was any beers that she recommended. And she actually recommended to him the Cigar, Cigar City Maduro, which is a brown ale. And when he tried it, he's like, oh my God, this is amazing. And I think I can quote that as what he actually did say. And he was like, it popped to his, to his head. He was like, hey, we should have more of that here in Miami. So he talked with some of his friends who were lawyers and he was is actually a lawyer himself, I believe. And he was like, hey guys, let's bring a brewery to another brewery to the growing list of breweries in Miami. Because as it stands, Miami and Florida in general were kind of like very small and the, not not small, but like we're we're still kind of young in the craft beer community. So he got some friends and so the tank was born. It's actually a warehouse that is attached to the warehouse is warehouse is because it's a very large spot of the import export business that he does with his cigars. So amazing people, great beers. They actually also are one of the only places that does the gravity fed beers of Cascales. And I think that's just amazing. They're very well rounded. They brew a lot of great beers and they don't receive the hype that they deserve. But that's why I'm doing a video today so I can give some love because I also have some barrel aged stuff that I'm gonna be getting to soon. And obviously, you know, you need to give the story before you drink the beer. So their story. They the best create they say that the best creations come from unique combinations and their story is living proof. After all, how often do a couple of home brewers get together with the cigars industry vet to start a craft brew company, as I had stated earlier? Our team's mashup of or their team's mashup of different cultures and backgrounds can be tasted in their work, where different influences and ingredients come together to create more unique tasting brews. So what's cool is that after he had talked to his friends to start the, the brewery. They actually went to the FIU Craft Brew Club and they basically got some people from there and that's how they actually started the brewery, which is, I thought was pretty cool because as an FIU alum, gotta show love to the peeps. So what they stand for, they, the tank brewing is about one thing and one thing only, exceptional craft beer. Their story is one of a homegrown passion for brewing honest, expertly crafted artisanal beer using only the finest ingredients from mash to tap. They call it liquid innovation, and they actually really do call it that. Every drop is crafted with unparalleled passion for creating beer of only the highest quality. 
the from the purity of the water to the expensive care taken in curating ingredients to every step of the brewing process. Every detail is adhered to with the pure love of beer in mind, and it can be tasted in every sip. Bold. Unpretentious, proudly brewed in the heart of Miami. Let's raise a glass to the true craft of craft beer. And that was straight from their website. So if, you have, if you've actually been to their tasting room, it's humongous. It's ginormous. They also have a cigar bar or like a cigar lounge attached to it as well, you know, because cigars and Carlos and their brew house is amazing. It's humongous and they have a lot more room to grow. And like I said, one thing that I love that they have is their lab where they test every single beer that they brew to make sure it's up to standards. And they're pushing out so many beers. Plaita is one of my favorites. It's a super crusher cans. You can find it at a bunch of different places and you can also find La Finca, I, I think you can find out there and you, you can find a bunch of their beers out of their tap room and they're brewing great stuff. So all of that said and done, we come back to this beer that we're drinking today. So I have to big, give a big shout out because, you know, as the trend is moving towards a more health conscious community, they wanted to kind of, you know, hit the road running with their loca or low calorie Blondale and let's uh, read a little bit about what this is. So Loca is a tropical Blondale 96 calories 3 grams of carbs and coming in at 4% ABV So they say it's Miami's original low-calorie craft beer because up to this point I don't know anybody else who's done that yet Loca is a low-calorie tropical Blondale that perfectly complements a healthy lifestyle it's crafted using the latest brewing techniques, creating a truly unique beer overflowing with flavor. You no longer have to sacrifice authenticity and taste in your beer to stay devoted to health and wellness. Well, I appreciate that because I run a lot and want my beer to match that too. Actually, I lie. I drink this beer because it's delicious, but at the same time, I drink a lot of other beers too. Imperial Stouts, barely stuff, IPAs, I drink it all. So don't listen to what I said about that. But this is a delicious beer you should try it as well. So the blonde ale style in general, it's one of the most approachable styles. And it, as the name implies, is it is typically a golden or blonde ale that is easy drinking and is visually, visually appealing as, has, as it has no particularly dominating malt or hop characteristics. Rounded and smooth, it is an American classic known for its simplicity. Sometimes referred to as a golden ale, these beers can have honey, spices, and fruit added as well, and may be fermented with lager or ale yeast, so you can have a different style of beer. So these beers typically range in 4.1 to 5% ABV, and this one's over at four, so it's very light, and you typically get an IBU of around 15 to 25%, uh, 15 to 25 IBU. So I think I'm ready to drink, so let us do that. So, as the name implies, it is a, sorry for my dirty glass, it is a blonde ale, and you can definitely see through it, it has a nice like pale straw golden color. <sighs> now, just the scent in, in and of itself, it's... A little dry, but you definitely get that, that I wish I knew the hops that he used. He had told me earlier, and Mo's going to hate me, but I completely forgot. It's slightly dry as well. It kind of actually smells like a, like a brute, like a brute champagne, which if you know me, I, I drink all that on Sundays, so... So I have to give it, give it to them. It doesn't taste like trash. Honestly, when, when I hear low calorie beer, I feel like they strip away everything and they just make a trash beer to just say it's low calorie. But this is not that. I actually applaud Mo and the brew team because 
this is a very, very well done beer. It's light, it's refreshing. You still get the flavors of a beer. And I mean, it's just, it's a feat in and of itself to get a beer that tastes good. But also the fact that you add that it's 96 calories and three grams of carbs. Cheers, guys. So it's a medium to light body beer. Washes over the palate, very, very light. You get like a slight water cracker taste, but then you also get a little bit of those hops as well. Dry, it has a dry finish. And I mean, it's just <laughs> super crushable. This beer is super, super crushable. You could definitely throw these back one after the other. And I mean, you can honestly kill a six pack by yourself because why wouldn't you? It's only dude this is ridiculous that it's only 96 calories and what's crazy is that you can probably finish a six pack and still be under the calories and carbs of like one of some of the beers that are out there these days not to say that those beers taste bad but this is a very well crafted beer that you know kind of fits your macros if you know what i'm talking about my peeps out there that's that are on my fitness pal no that's not a plug i'm not working with them so I could definitely kill a six pack of this. It tastes where the ABV would is. I would probably guess around four to five percent. So, and this one's right at four. And as far as pairings go, let's see. I it honestly tastes like a like a brute champagne so i could honest like pair this alongside some brunch and not feel bad about what i'm eating because i'm drinking this beer and because of how low calorie and low carb it is so definitely brought any style of brunch that you want to go i could definitely have this alongside with it i would definitely go for lighter fare foods in terms of i could put this alongside you know like my German counterparts. So I could do this alongside some French fries. I could do this alongside some like grilled chicken, some bratwurst, some wiener schnitzel even. I can do this alongside some white fish, some, or you know what? I can even put this alongside like a lightly fried like red snapper. I feel like that would go amazing with this. Or, you know, you could do some calamari. You could do some corvina, some tilapia. You could do some crab. You could do some Oysters, I feel like, you, again, brunch, thinking brunch. And, you know, if you're a little bougie, feeling bougie that day, you can get some oysters. I feel like you can put this alongside some sea, divers, some sea scallops. That'd be delicious as well. I feel like you could put this alongside, mm -mm -mm. you know what? Honestly, I'm probably going to be taking this to Thanksgiving dinner so I don't feel bad about myself because I'm going to eat so much food. I'm just going to inhale it. And then if I have this beer alongside it, I wouldn't feel bad. And I feel like you could do that definitely with the turkey, with the stuffings, with the with the yams and all that good stuff. You could put that alongside that and it would go amazingly well. So a great beer that you could do alongside a lot of things and it is freaking delicious. So great job to the tank brewing and great job to everything that they do they put out a lot of great beers so if you guys haven't checked them out definitely check them out and before i go hit me up have you guys tried this beer do you have you tried other low calorie beers do you like these this stuff like is this the new trend is this where beers are going what do you think about that how do you feel about that let me know let hit me up you can catch me on instagram patreon facebook youtube and twitter those places and yeah Super excited to just go drink this beer because I'm not going to feel bad about it. So before I go, you know, I'd like to always give love to the people that tuned in. We had Hopped Adventures, a Hopped, bleh, Hopped Adventures, my lovely wife, Chef Niven of Guy and Herba. Check them out in Miami. Delicious, amazing, um, great food. The homies at Aduco's, Le Joy Skin. How you doing, girl? She's over in Sydney, so thanks for tuning in. My homie Jason over in VA, Hophead TK, we get their, our hops from them. My homie Young Wayne, who's a killer. He has a killer sound, check, check him out, ladies. But he's taken, so don't try. 
Mish Machiavelli, what up, homie? The beer dude, I will chug it right now. Brew the hand, the um, a dude that is making amazing freaking beers, so definitely he makes amazing meads as well. Killing the game, home brewer, keep killing it, dude. And Danny GNZ. Guys, thank you so, so much for tuning in to listen to me talk about beer. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I'm gonna go chug this. I hope you guys are having an amazing night. Please, please, please be safe, stay safe, wear your masks, wear your gloves, wash your hands, wash your face, whatever. Let's get out, I wanna drink beers with you. Let's do it soon. Till the next time, my friends, love you, appreciate you. Cheers.